It's Oreo Opinion Writing. Welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. I'm proud to present the Oreo Strategy for Learning Opinion Writing. So what does Oreo have to do with opinion writing? Oreo is going to be an acronym. It's going to help us remember all the parts that are needed in opinion writing. The letters O-R-E-O -E will be the key to unlock fantastic opinion writing. An opinion is what you believe. An opinion is not a fact. It is a feeling or belief. Your opinion can also be called your viewpoint. And here's an opinion. I believe the more stuffing inside the Oreo, the better it is. That's an opinion. Opinion writing is when you are trying to get others to have the same opinion you do. You are trying to persuade them. It's the best. Opinion writing is also called persuasive writing because you are trying to persuade the reader to agree with your opinion. When doing persuasive or opinion writing, you often start with certain sentences or phrases, like, in my opinion, I think, I believe that, I feel that, my opinion is. And that's how we start off so people know it's opinion writing. Let's check out how it's like an Oreo cookie. So an Oreo cookie starts with the first part, the crunchy chocolatey cookie. That's your opinion. The first thing you're going to do when you're writing is state your opinion using one of those phrases that we just saw. Then it's time for the creamy filling. You're going to give reasons why your opinion is so great and examples that support your reasons. Then you're going to finish it all off with another crunchy opinion cookie. Hey, check it out. O R E O. Oreo. That's the Oreo in Oreo opinion writing. I'm going to read this opinion paragraph to you. You can see it's color coded, and I want you to see can you identify what parts of the Oreo you are seeing or listening to in this persuasive paragraph? It's called the best place to go on the weekend. The best place to go on the weekend is the beach. There are lots of fun things you can do at the beach. For instance, you can play chase with the waves. Also, you can go swimming or boogie boarding. You can play in the sand or build a sand castle. Another reason the beach is the best place to visit is because it is a great place to relax with your family. Just laying on your towel watching the waves is a great way to relax. Many people enjoy closing their eyes and listening to the sound of the ocean. In my opinion, the beach is the best place to visit. Now you might have got that this Oreo is helping to identify the different parts of this persuasive paragraph. So we can see we started it off with our opinion here. The best place to go on the weekend is the beach. That is an opinion. Then we gave our first reason. There are lots of fun things you can do at the beach. Yes, there are. And then in the green, there are some examples. And I did change the word, wording a little here. It says, for example, which is a great way to remind yourself this is an example. And then here, another reason. Well, you're letting your reader know, here's another reason. It's great to relax there too. And then you give some examples. You can just watch the waves or you could close your eyes and enjoy the sound of the ocean. So we have two reasons and an example, another reason and an example, because this is a double stuffed Oreo. Then we close it all off with our opinion again. In my opinion, the beach is the best place to visit. Now, always double stuff your Oreo. Always give a reason and an example and a reason and an example. That's a double stuffed Oreo, but triple stuffed Oreos are the best. Triple stuff will have a reason, example, reason, example, and another reason and example before you finish off your writing 
by restating your opinion. Restating means you're going to say it again. So the best place, the best place, hmm, those are quite similar sentences. You could even actually use the same exact sentence, but it's fun to change it up a little bit. Here are some sweet words or phrases to use in your Oreo opinion writing. So, in my opinion, I think blank is the best blank. I believe that blank is the best blank. I feel that blank is the best blank. My opinion is that blank is the best blank. Now, we don't use all these sentences, we just use one. But these are some examples that we could use. Here, we're showing that we're gonna use some order words sometimes to help keep us on track. One reason is, or my first reason, or first of all. And the reason I say this is because. Another reason is this, also this. Well, for example, this, for instance, or in fact, or another example is. You can use some of those in the sweet, 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 creamy filling. And then here are some ideas of um, ways you could close off your Oreo with that other chocolatey cookie. That is why I think blank is the best blank. Mm, you've already told them all the reasons, and now you're telling them that is why I think that. Or you could say something like, I believe that blank is the best, and I hope I've convinced you. <laughs> My opinion is that blank is the best. Or you could finish off reminding people of all your wonderful reasons by saying, for these reasons, I think blank is the best. The one thing that is really important to remember when you are writing persuasive or opinion things, you're going to want to follow the Oreo strategy, opinion, reason, example, opinion, or opinion, reason, example, reason, example, reason, example, opinion. But if you think of the Oreo and the letters in the Oreo, it will remind you opinion writing has a very specific structure, a way it's put together. It always starts by you clearly saying what your opinion is. I believe that. And then you tell them why you believe it. Give them some examples. Really convince them that your opinion is the opinion they should have too. Then we're coming back down and we're letting them know these are the reasons I think that this is the best. I hope you understand now why I think this is the best. I believe that this is the best. And you're going to finish it off by telling them your opinion one more time, working to convince them of your opinion. So remember the Oreo and remember Double stuff is good, triple stuff is best. Happy writing!